Hi guys, welcome back for our second lesson that has to do with time. Um, last time I told you to go around and count how many clocks you have. And we talked about um, trying to figure out how it felt for a second, a minute, 30 minutes, and an hour. So I hope you guys were able to do that and you figured out a second is pretty quick. An hour can be really long. So when we talked about timers that you can also use to measure the time. So today we're, we're going to talk about some um, other words that describe time. Um, the words are morning, afternoon, and evening. Okay. These are three different times of the day. So we're going to think about what we do during these times. So it will help us remember what time of the day it is. Okay. For example, in the morning, do we wake up or go to bed? Good. We wake up. The morning usually starts our day. We yawn, we stretch, we hop out of bed, maybe watch TV, have breakfast, um, have breakfast or some cereal, um, make your bed, pull up the cover, fluff the pillow. Um, usually, um, if we weren't supposed to stay home, we would um, drive to school. Mom and dad would drive to work. Um, so the things you do at home, <coughs> sorry, the things you do at home right now might be diff are probably different than your usual morning um, before our school had to close. So just think about all the things you do in the morning. Maybe you work on homework a little. Maybe you play outside a little, watch TV, play on your electronic. And then when our clock says that it is 12 o'clock noon, that is when the afternoon starts. And the big hand, this is the second hand, remember. The big hand and the little hand are both going to be pointing to 12. That means it's 12 o'clock. And we say it's 12 o'clock noon because that is when the afternoon starts. So when you wake up in the morning, let's say you wake up at 7 o'clock. That's usually when my son wakes up. So if he wakes up at 7 which is here, then we go from 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock is when we hit noon. We have the afternoon. What do we do in the afternoon? We usually have lunch, and usually the sun is out, and that's the warmest part of our day in the afternoon. So it's a good time to go outside and play. Um, maybe brother, little brothers or sisters take a nap in the afternoon. Maybe you have some quiet time. That's when we had our quiet time at school was in the afternoon. Um, you might have a snack then later in the afternoon. We always had an afternoon snack. Um, Pastor Sarah always came down in the afternoon, right? So then that is going to take us, it starts at 12 o'clock noon, then we have 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and then when we hit 6 o'clock, that changes, it's no longer the afternoon, it is the evening. Okay, six o'clock in the evening. So what do we do in the evening? We usually read a bedtime story, probably. 
and we usually will start start to see the moon, maybe some stars come out before we go to sleep. Right? And we have dinner, of course. Um, a good way to remember your times of the day is by what you're eating. In the morning, you have breakfast. In the afternoon, you have lunch. In the evening, you have d d dinner. Good. So I have some pictures here for us to try to figure out what time of the day do these things happen. Remember, we have morning. Say it with me. Afternoon. Evening. Good. All right, so don't laugh at my pictures. I know they're not that great. All right, so a person is laying in bed going to sleep. Did that happen in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening? Hopefully you said evening. That would be correct. All right? When someone is having dinner or sitting at the table, is that afternoon or evening? Evening. Good job. When the sun is just coming up, the sun is waking up. The morning. Just shout them out when you know. You don't have to raise your hand this time. Haha. <laughs> ha. Um, you brush your teeth. This could be two answers. Yes. You could say the morning. And you could say the evening, or you could say both, right? Go outside to play basketball. Technically, right now, that could be any time because we're home. Any time you go outside, you could go out in the morning and play. You could go out in the afternoon and play. You could go out in the evening and play, right? At our school, um, where we had a basketball hoop that was out on the play yard, and we only went to the play yard one time during the day if we got to go outside. It was after lunch, so it would be in the afternoon. That's right. You put on your pajamas. What time of the day do you put on your pajamas? Morning, afternoon, evening. Evening. Unless it's pajama day. And unless it's the time that we're in right now where you might just stay in your jammies all day. I heard somebody say on the TV somebody has their daytime jammies that they wear during the day at home and then their nighttime jammies that they put on when they go to bed. So let's pretend these are your nighttime jammies. So you'll put them on when you go to bed in the evening. All right. Um, getting dressed. If it was a usual day when you're going to school, you would get dressed in the morning. That's right. Um, these last three pictures I have could really be any time during the day right now. Um, I have a TV. You might watch a cartoon in the morning and the afternoon and the evening. Um, writing, doing homework. Again, it could be morning, it could be afternoon. It just depends on your schedule at home. Mom or dad doing work. That could be morning, that could be afternoon. It just depends on what you guys are doing at home with your schedule. Because right now everybody's schedule is kind of different, but that's okay. Um, there are typically things I'm sure that you always do in the morning, you always do in the afternoon, and you always do in the evening. Even when we're home now, we've been home for several weeks and you probably have a whole different routine that you're doing now than you did when we were going to school. So, I'm going to find a piece of paper. And I folded my piece of paper in thirds. Mom or dad can help you if you need. 
open it back up and you have three columns. So my first one says morning and I wake up. Afternoon comes next and I wrote the time. I wrote 12 o'clock noon. And then the evening comes last and I wrote six o'clock. So tomorrow, there's another time word, tomorrow. Tomorrow, whatever day after that you watch this lesson, get up in the morning when you wake up, do your piece of paper, and then in the morning, have your paper laying somewhere, you know where it is, and maybe when you are done eating breakfast, draw a picture of breakfast. Then whatever you do next, maybe you go watch TV. When you're done watching TV, come back and draw a TV. Then maybe you play outside. Maybe you ride your bike. When you're done, come back, draw a picture of riding your bike. Anything that you do in the morning, draw a little picture out. Or if you want to, write a word, that'd be great. Totally up to you. Then when we switch to afternoon at 12 o'clock, after you do something in the afternoon, come back, draw a picture, or write to tell me what you did. Same thing in the evening up until you go to bed. Two reasons I want you to do this. I want you to see what time of day do you do more things? Do you do more things in the morning or do you do more things in the evening? Maybe you do more things in the afternoon. Okay, which time of day do you do more things? And there's the second reason. Oh my goodness, why did I just draw a blank? That happens. Obvious reason to practice learning the words morning, afternoon, evening, which I'm sure you already have heard those words, maybe have used those words. But now we want to try to figure out really when during the day are these times. Okay, when you're having dinner, it's not the morning. When you're having breakfast, it's not the evening. So I want you to figure out what you do in those times during the day. Okay? Capiche? Capiche. All right. Uh, take a picture, send it to me, let me know how you do and um, which time of the day you do more things. And then the next lesson, we're going to be making our own clock and learning how to tell the time by the hour. Very exciting. So I will see you next time. Bye.